Right, everything is just a bit of a mess right now. It is about to happen. I'm looking at the live counter. You can't really see this properly on YouTube, so I'm literally looking at a live counter. Updates every 10 seconds. There's going to be some serious hyperventilating here. I'm just going to give it a little warning. I was completely expecting to be um, staying up until about 4 o'clock. Oh, I don't want to miss it. We're so close. I cannot even, like, explain how much this means. Oh, this is mad. Oh, as if now you're having a laugh. Come on. Give me a break. No, that's just a joke. Do I film me? Do I film... I'm, I don't know what, I don't know, I'm just so unprepared for this, it's happened, we hit it, a million and three subscribers, I really hope you can see that, because I cannot see a thing, oh my, I've got, I've got a million subscribers, I have one million subscribers, does that not scare you, because it should, right, if I, if I ever get to a million subscribers, that's what I'll upload, I will upload my Nerf War that I made when I was like 11. So, this is awkward. Now when most people hit 1 million subscribers, they do something amazing to thank all the people that have got them to where they are today. However, a while ago I promised you guys if I ever got to 1 million subscribers, I would show you my Nerf War. And there's a good reason for why I said that. It's because I never thought it would happen. Biggest mistake of my life. But I do just want to say this doesn't mean I don't feel unbelievably grateful to every single one of you for getting me to where I am today. And it is a dream come true, and I just still cannot get my head around the sheer amount of people that consistently like my videos, share my videos, comment on my videos, and clearly subscribe to my channel. It is just absolutely incredible. This time two years ago, I was just one of you guys, you know, watching YouTubers, absolutely loving watching YouTubers, but wanting to get involved, but having no fan base or anything whatsoever. So if I'm gonna say something on a serious note, it's that things can change very quickly. Do you know how weird it is to look down this lens, look down this camera lens almost every day and know that there's one million people down the other side of it. It is just absolutely mind blowing and so is focusing apparently. Right, to fill you in, Nerf guns are basically little plastic guns that shoot, well, some of them aren't little, some of them are pretty big, but they shoot little plastic darts. And crucially, are for eight year olds looking at you 14 year old me. I should explain first of all, this whole Nerf War thing came from this video called The Great Office War, which was basically a group of adults having a Nerf War in their office, and uh, it was actually pulled off really well. So we saw that and decided we wanted to make our own. It's a little bit like that one person that laughs at a joke for a little too long and a little too hard and ends up making it embarrassing for everyone involved. Yeah, that was us. So you might think you've seen some pretty embarrassing first videos around YouTube. <laughs> No. And because of the fact I only used Lord of the Rings backing music as the music in this, I can't show you the whole thing altogether because it would get copyrighted. Thank Christ. And I've just gone back on this channel for the first time in years, and it's got 30 subscribers. Thinking about it, 10 of them are probably me because I would have made 10 spare channels for myself to subscribe to myself. <laughs> I just think I got to a million so quickly. Right, without further ado, good luck. And please don't bully me for too long. Okay, no, let's just stop. That's enough for now. I just need to properly get to grips with the fact that I can now never step foot outside my house again in my life. First things first, that somewhat questionable haircut. I think I was trying to get really involved with my role with Concerning Hobbits as the Lord of the Rings background song on at the moment by turning into a hobbit or trying to to the best of my ability for four years of my life. Secondly, my voice. Pass. And I should also introduce the uh, three other people who are in this with me. So we've got my cousin Jenny, who is a sister of my cousin Ollie, Kevin, De sorry, Kevin De, Bru Kevin De Bruyne. And my sister Kelly is also behind the camera at this stage. She'll, you'll see her in a minute. I would give her some abuse for the horrendously shaky camera work, but I'm not in a position to take the mickey out of anyone for a long time. Also, Ollie manages to change shirts a few times during those opening shots. I don't know how we didn't notice that after watching this back how many times. Actually, no. No, Ollie, why didn't you tell us more to the point? He's probably watching this. So it's been five years. I want the truth, damn it. Also, to be fair to Ollie, on a serious note, he has slimmed down a lot these days. So, you know, it's sort of the elephant in the room. <laughs> Pardon the pun. There's not much preseason training going on there, is there, Kevin? But no, genuinely, well done, Ollie. I don't remember you ever being that tubby. Oh, no. 
Oh, well, he's chain shots again. That's nice. Buzz! I can't pass. Jenny, she kicked my control on the floor. Oh, not again. It's not my finest hour. Even back on FIFA 10 online, sweaty goals were very much a thing. Oh, my God! <laughs> my dignity. <laughs> My sister walking around holding Yu-Gi-Oh cards has just got the whole height of cool package this. This is basically a seven minute compilation of everything that's wrong with the world. Look, if you're one of those people that doesn't keep Nerf guns under their cushions in their living rooms in case of spontaneous Nerf wars, then what is wrong with you? I think I speak for everyone when I say I'd enjoy bullying this kid. What are you doing? Oh. Yep, that was funny. You might be able to tell I didn't take drama past year eight. This is just, it's just laughable. Like, I'm pretty sure at this stage, even you guys can't be enjoying this. Even from a video maker's like critical perspective. The music is too loud, the dialogue is awful, the jump cuts are awful. I could go on. Physical pain is what this is right now. As a collective group of actors, I will be just amazed if we don't clear up at the next Oscars because of this. And that's the moment my social life was clubbed to death before my eyes. What's funny is my cousins and my sister will also be getting as equally embarrassed because of this. So it's sort of killing four birds with one stone. But I just have to laugh, otherwise I would just be sitting here thinking about all the hundreds of people watching this and just crying. Right, relatively boring bits now. I draw quick revive on a can of Diet Coke. Ha ha ha. Ha. Here, trick this. And Ollie and Kelly just get brought back to life. I don't know what I... That acting, like if you tried to act badly, it's at a stage where you'd be acting better. This is starting to get dangerously close to considering deleting my channel territory. Okay. I hate this more than anything I've ever done in my life before. Hey, they're getting away. No comments. I'll take care of this. This is the one bit I'm actually proud of in this whole thing. That little shot through the scope. That was, I was getting dangerously close to actual decent production. This is going to be on the internet forever. What do you mean you wonder where Kelly and Jenny went? They're clearly standing two feet in front of you, just off camera, but of course, the audience don't know that. There's only so many times you can apologize to the whole human race. Oh, there's, there's crocs, there's actually crocs on the floor. There is actually crocs on the floor. Okay, I don't think this is peaks. YouTube might just shut down my channel. For the best, I think we can all pretty much agree as well. Also, for some reason, the family border collie called Max just gets a cameo in every... 
No, I didn't. I didn't say every one of these we make. I in the one that we've made, he makes a cameo appearance. We have not made more than one. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that a little bit later. But he's just always in the background at some point. It really doesn't help the epic atmosphere when you're trying to create this huge battleground and there's a large fluffy dog playing with a football in the background. It's just a bit of a lack of urgency. It's like they're not even aware that these foam darts raining from the sky are in fact fatal. Jenny, use your brain. <laughs> You're gonna be hiding behind the bench, damn it. What was even less fun than this right now was picking up all the darts after every single take. Not a fun way to spend a weekend afternoon. My feelings. Nope. I'm not sure I can do this. Why did I feel the need to fall? You get shot in the arm, so obviously your instant reaction is to do a roly poly onto your side. That makes sense. And the single worst piece of acting of 2015 is comfortably won by that. The real question is why was I making Nerf Wars and not trying to give Ashley Young and Luis Suarez a run for their money? It's better acting than mine. I made my sister say that. I love directing these. I just gave all the cringy lines to my sister. Now it's all paying off. I'm very happy. It was worth it. All of it. Safety. And it seems to be the end, so you start celebrating. No. In between the cringing, I don't know if you noticed the second cameo appearance from Max. <laughs> How has he got there? I've never felt this much hatred for anything in my life before. The point of this last scene was meant to be, you know, in these kinds of things, everyone just dies at the end and it sort of just sweeps across the destruction and I was going to be there sitting there awkwardly and it was going to be hilarious and everyone would laugh, but I just can't stop staring at how tight Ollie's shorts are. Yeah. And there you go. And this time it's over. I've never said those two words with more relief in my life. I am so, so terrified that this is going to be on the internet forever, but... Well, when you make a promise, you make a promise. I think what to take from that is, first of all, don't make a promise on the internet to anyone. And secondly, it's kind of nice to see someone's first videos. From personal experience, it's nice to see YouTubers' first videos to realize that your first videos don't define you. Generally, everyone's first video is going to be awful, with a few exceptions, but, you know, who even are those people? Now, what I mentioned before, that... I might have done some more of these. There's two more. There is. So, if you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like on the video to let me know that you'd like to see another one of these. This is my channel. I make up the rules. Two million subscribers. That's when the next one's coming. Not, not any time before. It's not. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please make sure to leave a like if you have enjoyed the million subscriber special and to just help me out a little bit because it's going to take a bit of recovering coming back from this. Please just push all that Nerf War out of your head. That is not the standard of my videos these days. If you're new around here, and please make sure to subscribe for onwards and upwards. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I shall see you later. Bye-bye, guys.